Hi everyone, I'm your new host, Natalie. Uh, it's been a while, but we're back with another YC Weekly. It seems that over the past few months, we just couldn't get enough of fidget spinners. Woo! Look at it go. I don't know what the big deal is. These are gonna be out of style in a few months. Uh, who are you, and what have you done with Ari and the other YC Weekly hosts? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm Natalie, new host. And who assigned you as the YC Weekly host? That guy. Oh, yeah. Is that my fidget spinner? I've been looking all over for this. Oh, my precious baby. <laughs> This seems to be common with most toys. The new big thing comes out, everyone gets excited, and then it starts collecting dust with all the loose change you used to buy it in the first place. I can think of a million examples of this. One big category is the pet series. Starting with Tamagotchi in the 90s, everyone loved taking care of virtual pets without the responsibility of taking care of real pets. From there, we've had a million different pets, from real life to computer games. Micro pets, Neo pets, it seems like there's a pet for everything. Except for fish. Sea monkeys aren't fun. Toy cars, they were a huge fad. From Hot Wheels to Matchbox, everyone wanted to collect as many of them as possible. And then there are toys that are basically bragging rights, like the Rubik's Cube. We get it, you're smart. Other than that, we also had yo-yos, jump ropes, and even cup stacking. That got so big that it became its own sport. Big deal. Well, I guess everyone needs something to be proud of. At least those toys need actual skill, unlike these. That's all for this week. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Personally, when it comes to fads, I was always big on the Bop It. Bop It, the start! High score, 21.